I'm Dylan Post. Um, my dad and I actually bought uh, this unit together. We're in 72. Um, we're part-timers, mostly use it for vacation time, um, a lot in the springtime. Uh, we ride razors a lot, so that was a big, big attraction to be able to go straight into the desert right out of our unit. So, yeah. Oh, that's, uh, that's great. Um, it's got to be nice that you can pull, you know, pull out of, you know, our back gate or go out the front and, you know, hit, uh, hit all the desert trails and the BLM pathways. Definitely. Yeah, that, that was a huge attraction for us, for sure. Being able to just ride right out of our unit, we can just leave in the razor and just go ride. So that's awesome. Perfect. Well, uh, let me ask you this. Before moving into your unit at Riverbound, what were you originally looking for? Was it mainly storage? Was it more of an RV park type use that you were looking for? Um, what was what was on the menu? What were you uh, trying to capture? So before this, we would usually like we usually come down every March for usually about a month if we can. Um, we'd always just rent a house, and it got so difficult to find a place with enough parking because we have a big trailer. Right. Um, for our razors and everything and then we wanted something where that could be more permanent for us so we we know we have a place you know we're not trying to fight to find a, a rental down there um, and so that's what was so appealing about riverbound for one it's low maintenance because we're not there year round we don't really have to maintain it like we would a house right and then we have all the space to park our stuff and we can put an rv there and it's just as good or better than a house and so yeah, that that was the big deal there for sure. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, got got to get away from those homeowner headaches. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So other than the uh, simplicity of uh, having a riverbound unit and not having to worry about the home ownership aspect of it, like a lot of people do, is there anything else specifically that drew you into buying the unit at Riverbound? So I, the location I think is awesome. Like I said earlier, and like we talked about, we can just go ride right from our unit. Right. Um, and then the amenities are so cool. You know, you got the driving range and the pool and the store and all of that stuff and everything is going in with the next phase, um, the laundromat and the deli and all that cool stuff. Um, so that was a big attraction as well. Cause like for us, we like to be able to load up here, head down there, and just have everything ready. And that's that was the, a key selling point for Riverbound is it's ready for us when we get there, right? It's it's all there. It's ready to go. We show up, we pull in, and we're ready to have fun. Perfect. Have, um, we're making some pretty good progress in phase two. So once we get the, uh, the restaurant, the laundromat, the fitness center, uh, we get all of that um, uh, ready and available to all the customers. You, you might not have to leave Riverbound. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. That'd be perfect. Um, awesome. So uh, can you tell me how was the buying process when you guys originally toured the facility, you guys looked around, you, you found a unit that, you know, caught your eye. And then from there, can you uh, share with the audience uh, what the buying process was like? I mean, did you feel like you were pressured or did you feel that you guys could kind of move at your own pace? Can you shine a little light on how the, the buying process was from the time that you felt that, you know, this was going to be a place for you? It was, if I could describe it in two words, it'd be simple and easy. I mean, there, were, there was no pressure. Um, we worked with Jared with Apex Realty, and he was fantastic throughout the whole process. Um, I mean, it was, it was just easy. Um, we were communicating over email a lot because obviously I'm up here, my dad and I are in Idaho. And so we had, we weren't able to be there through the whole process, but it was, it was just simple. Um, yeah. I mean, it was, it was an awesome process for sure. Awesome. Um, yeah. The, uh, the team over at Apex uh, Realty, they're all fantastic. Jared's a great guy. So I'm sure he's going to appreciate hearing uh, the kind words. So thank you so much for that. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, Absolutely. So uh, you and your dad, do you guys uh, travel a lot? You guys do a lot of RVing. Um, are there any other RV parks maybe in the area that you stayed at before? Um, I guess the question is, is there anything that you would say that separates Riverbound from other RV parks in that capacity? Um, I mean, we talked about the amenities. We talked about 
you know, the driving range and some of the other cool stuff that traditional RV parks don't have, but is there anything just from an RV park use standpoint that you would say really sticks out about Riverbound versus, you know, your traditional RV parks? So like, a, like a, when I'm thinking of a normal RV park, it's like you, you maybe can reserve a space, but you don't, you don't always own a space, right? Sure. And that's what's nice about Riverbound is you have your spot and it's, it's always there for you. Um, and then the other aspect is the storage, obviously, right? I mean, you have, you have that shop there for you can park your stuff. You can put a bathroom in it, you know, whatever you want. Once you own it, you can, and you get your, uh, um, certificate of occupancy, you can do whatever you want in there, you know? And so that, that's a huge plus over a traditional RV park, I think for sure. Yeah. You kind of have a blank canvas to go in there and, uh, kind of let your imagination go and, um, you know, start to kind of customize it and make it the way that you want it. Exactly. Yeah. And you, there's not, the other thing we like, there's not a lot of rules. Like you, you can go in, like you said, blank cab canvas, do what you want, make it, make it work for you, functional for you. So you can have fun with it. And that's, that's what I think is pretty awesome. What, uh, what kind of improvements have you made to the inside of your unit? So we haven't done a lot yet. We're going to do epoxy on the floor. I think that's getting done here pretty soon. Um, we might do a bathroom. We're kind of toying around with different different designs and stuff like that. Um, but we haven't done a whole lot yet. Um, we're still just kind of trying to decide what exactly we want to do. I mean, we closed on this, I think, a couple months ago. So we got some time. We're just trying to figure it out and figure out what all we want to do. Perfect. Um, I'm sure it'll come to you. You jot down some ideas. And then uh, if there's anything that we can do to help you bring them to life, let us know. That's what we're there for. Awesome. I appreciate that. Um, last thing here, uh, what would you say uh, to folks who are on the fence about buying at Riverbound? I think there's only a handful of units that are left and available in phase one. Um, is there anything that you would say to them? I mean, there's probably been some folks that have gone in and, you know, maybe they're just a little hesitant or they're just a, you know, the timing might not be right. So, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, is there uh, anything that you would say to folks that are, um, you know, on the sidelines that are, you know, looking to, you know, move into the community? I would say you're not going to regret it. I mean, every, like we talked about, the amenities are awesome. The buildings are great. Um, the layout's awesome and easy to use. And the people in there are wonderful. Um, like we were there when we were there not too long ago. I mean, just walking around, talking to people, everyone's friendly, everyone's happy. It's just, it's a nice, fun environment. It's a great place to be. Yeah, that's uh, that's great. Um, any other comments that you'd like to make about your unit or the park or the staff or the location or uh, any riverbound highlights that you'd like to throw in here before we wrap this up? I think we pretty much covered it all, but uh, the, the staff is awesome as well. The girls in the store are great and super helpful. Um, yeah, everything, everything is, it's, it's just simple and easy and it's a fun environment and we're just excited to get down there and use it as much as we can. Oh, that's great. Well, uh, again, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it, Dylan. Uh, we're making uh, a lot of progress in phase two, um, coming out with seven different uh, building configurations. They're going to be longer. They're going to be wider. Uh, they're going to be very creative. So uh, thank you so much for uh, joining the community. Can't tell you how much uh, we really appreciate you and your dad enough. And again, thank you so much for taking uh, the time to answer these questions and, and help us out. We really appreciate it, man.